solar pool heating versus gas pool heaters. There's a big difference between the two. A gas pool heater is probably the most expensive way to heat your pool, however it's also the most versatile. You basically just feed money into it and it makes your pool hot and it doesn't matter what time of year it is or what, what the ambient temperatures of the air are. If you feed enough money into it, you can go swimming on Christmas Eve if you want to. Now, a solar pool heater is totally different. A solar heater does not extend your swimming pool season. You're not going to be able to get swimming earlier in the year and then stay swimming later in the year with a solar heater like you can with a gas heater. That being said, a solar heater is the most cost-effective way of heating your pool. So if you choose a solar heater, what you're looking for is relatively low upfront cost, no running costs, however minimal performance in terms of heating up the pool water. Basically the way I describe solar heating is it doesn't extend your swimming pool season, but it does improve your in-season swimming temperatures. If you're looking towards a gas heater, that's a totally different situation. It has a fairly large upfront cost and a fairly huge running cost. A lot of people don't realize just how big a pool heater is. Uh, common sizes would be 250,000 and 400,000 BTU. 400,000 BTU is a lot. That's the equivalent of 10 large barbecues running on full. So if you can just imagine that, you can start to picture just how much you could spend heating your pool. And heating your pool with gas heaters, if, or a gas heater, if you indiscriminately run it and leave the temperature very high, you could spend up to a couple thousand dollars per month heating your swimming pool. So there's a pretty big advantage for solar in that regard. However, it doesn't prolong your, your swimming season. Um, the, the gas heater is much more versatile in terms of heating up the water when you want to go swimming, but you definitely pay for that convenience. An optimal situation would actually see both of these systems installed together, where you can use the gas heater to prolong your swimming season, extend your swimming season, and then use the solar heater to improve and supplement the in-season swimming temperatures. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can also check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.